We're back in Rania's kitchen and I am very excited about this morning. What are we making? We're making a Greek honey cream oh, yum. that we're serving with fruit and it has nuts in it. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be a very fruitful morning. All right, what's the first step, honey? <laughs> honey, about a cup. Now, You're having too much fun today. I like using a nice Greek honey, but you can use anything. But if you do want a good Greek honey, you have to go to a place that would sell it. And I go to Stamoulis Brothers down in the Strip District. It's so dark. Yeah, it's different. There's all sorts of honeys, but anyway, honey. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the deal. You gotta whip it. Okay. For two minutes. On high. Okay. All right. Whew. Noisy. Well, yeah, that, that sort of went through a transformation. It did. Let me show you. You saw how dark it was before. Yeah. Now look at it. Oh, wow. It's like so caramel. Creamy. Right? Yeah. So hold on to that. Okay. Now, I whipped cream ahead, uh -huh. about a cup, a cup and a cup. Okay. This is easy. And those are toasted nuts? Mm -hmm. About a cup. And oh, the nuts. Pistachios, almonds, cashews, and walnuts. Okay. Chopped first. It is crazy when you toast nuts, they just like taste so much better. It's because like... you're bringing out the oil of the nut. Gosh. So now you want science to- Science lesson too. Yes, yes, yes. A little gentle stir. Okay. More like a fold. Okay. You mind just hanging on sure. to that? You can sort of be like my little Assistant. That's what I'm here for. Oh, look at that. Like little clouds, nutty clouds mm -hmm. going in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait till you taste this. You're going to totally love that. Okay. You take that. Okay. So the trick is gently stir this, but you, you want some of the streaks from the honey to show through. Uh, okay. You don't want to combine it to the point where it's hidden. Right. Sort of a marbled effect. Yes. Yes, perfect. I was looking for the right word. Now, technically, this sh should go in the refrigerator for at least two hours. Okay. To set up, but we don't have to. Yeah, we want to taste it now. And you're going to. Okay. So I put it a bowl in the middle of my platter so that I can have it as a dip. But if you wanted to do individual portions in the stemmed glass, oh. do all berries. Okay. Like that's a good summertime thing. Right. And then get a huge dollop of this, but you need a big stemmed glass for that purpose. So there's, it's very versatile. There, so because I'm a perfectionist. Mm? All right, mm -hmm. do a dip, mm -hmm. get some pear in there. Mm -hmm. mm. We make a good pear, actually. <laughs> it's delicious, it's sweet, you are nutty, you, are you honey do that. Mm. I'm doing this. That is really good. Mm. See you next time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and what's Why do we have to watch that and they don't have any here? I know. Well, what's great about that too is you're eating fruit. So, you know. You know, yes, it's good for you. It's good for you. And Rainy is totally right. I mean, you toast the nuts and then like all this extra so flavor. Good. Yeah, oh, so, it's so good. good. Well, Salida is moving back into Rainy's kitchen next week, but don't worry, Boaz won't be far if the need for a little kitchen cleanup arises. Yes, all right, for a copy of today's recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you right there.